Well, guys, I guess the new rule in 2023 is to bend the knee to radical gender ideology or else. Guys, it's, it's absolutely stunning, guys, that um, in 2023, all of these woke corporations out there, woke or- organizations, woke schools. If you go out there and you say that a man is a man and a woman is a woman, that is problematic. I mean, these entities have given themselves into radical gender ideology. I mean, when I was a kid, I was, there was no confusion, guys, on what, what was a woman. No confusion whatsoever. I mean, there would actually be no reason for Matt Walsh to actually make a documentary, you know, back in the 1980s and 90s. Everybody knew what a man is. Everybody knew what a woman is. And when it came to, like, sports, everybody could probably pretty much agree, hey, women play women's sports. Men actually play men's sports. Why? Because it's fair. But man, 2023 is a whole different animal, guys. I mean, the last three years, I don't know, man. Maybe that virus actually did something else. You know, the virus that came from China, maybe it did something else. Maybe it just uh, corroded brain cells because I believe that people have lost their minds when it came when it comes to this whole man and woman thing. I am a man. I have the body parts of a man. I was born a man. That ain't good enough nowadays, I guess. You know, the same for women. Because now, guys, when I saw this, I was stunned. I was stunned. High school graduation is actually going on right now. Can't believe it's already June. But apparently, you know, graduations are still going on. Well, this one student now has been banned from attending his own graduation. Why? Because he will not bend a knee to woke gender ideology. Look at this. Idaho student prevented from walking at graduation after asserting men and women are different. Well, obviously we are different because we have different uh, chromosomes. That is a biological fact. And I guess, you know, this uh, woke school didn't see it that way. They want you to follow the woke science. Look here. An Idaho teenager was barred by Kellogg High School administrators from participation in his graduation ceremony for giving his opinion on biology. 18-year-old Travis uh, Lohr said during a recent um, assembly, quote, guys are guys and girls are girls and girls are girls are girls. There is no in between. Yeah, because you're either a man or a woman. You're either male or female. That's just the way it is. Friday evening, over 100 students and parents protested outside school with chants of let him walk. Holding signs that read freedom of speech with a question mark because freedom of speech is definitely, definitely under attack, guys. People better wake up. Freedom of speech is not what it used to be. It's definitely not. But let's go on. Laura, Laura addressed the crowd Friday night when he said, quote, I would like to thank everybody here for supporting me. They're still not going to let me walk, but they can't take my diploma from me. He continued. I just appreciate all the support from everybody out there out uh, coming together. I won't forget this. Thank you. So he's still going to graduate, man. But trust me. That experience of actually walking across that stage when you have spent 12 years in the school system to get that diploma. A high school diploma is actually very, very important. And taking that walk, I still remember when I graduated. That was 28 years ago when I graduated. I remember that whole day completely. Getting that diploma, man, was important. Walking that stage was important. But now, in 2023, if you don't get down with the woke gender ideology, they're going to stop you. And I guess there's a clip here, too. Let's see what's actually on this clip, guys. Let's go ahead and uh, play this. I have not seen this. (laughs) 
Yeah, apparently this is where the um, the protest is. And that sign says defund propaganda. speech sign. Right. So I'm assuming this is probably from the last year of school. The one person has only two genders. Let him walk shirt right there. supporting me they're still not gonna let me walk but they can't take my diploma from me and uh, I just appreciate all the support uh, from everybody coming together uh, I won't forget this thank you wow they still will not let this young man actually walk across stage because he said that men are men, women are women. That was it. I mean, this is absolutely crazy here. Absolutely crazy. Let's see here. It says, according to the uh, uh, Shoshong News Press, the school district made the students um, scheduled to speak, get their speeches approved. And not go off script, which Lord allegedly did. In an interview with Idaho Freedom Foundation, the 18 year old said, quote, I had wrote something before and I had decided to change my statement about an hour before they had given our cards back. He claimed in another interview, quote, I was told I was never told I couldn't say what I said. I didn't find it to be offensive to anybody. And I didn't direct it towards any uh, groups specifically. Laura was previously warned to keep his uh, nose clean after a senior prank landed him in hot water with school administrators. Quote, they informed me that they uh, think I'm going to have an outburst at graduation, he said. I get the uh, senior prank thing. And I remember when I was in school board, they, was, they used to be senior pranks. I get that. Uh, but he goes on. But. That was more of a group thing. I haven't had a uh, problem all year. I just think my message was taken the wrong way. It is stunning, guys, that um, what they did to this young man. It is stunning. Uh, but he also says, quote, I feel I shouldn't be punished for believing in something that I believe. It's more that people uh, took it the wrong way. Everybody or everyone can speak freely. I can't see why I can't voice my opinion. I would love to walk in my graduation cer ceremony. I don't believe that I should be punished for what I did. I wasn't directing it at anybody or any groups. It's just something that I believe in. Kids nowadays really support gay people, transgender people, and it wasn't targeted at that, but... There's a lot of confusion about genders in the world today, and I figured that underclassmen might find something in me saying that. Of course, they don't want to. They don't want the younger people to actually hear that. There's a lot of support for other genders and other groups, but yet I don't see any support for people who just believe in two genders. I don't have any hatred towards gay people or transgenders, just like I hope they wouldn't have any resentment towards me for believing what I believe. Yeah. Now, also, that kind of reminds me of um, 
what happened with um, I believe it's like a 12 year old, if I'm not mistaken. He wore a shirt that said there are only two genders and a judge has ruled that he can't wear that shirt, you know, pending a, uh, a final verdict. I mean, this is crazy. That's all he wore. But the Walt School District didn't want him to wear it. This is the way that your public schools actually think, guys. They actually believe all this stuff. They believe in the woke ideology. And if you're not down with that, they have a problem with you. It's sad, guys. It really is. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white network fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we will catch you next time. Thank you.